so we're real we are really we are just really close we're really close to my meat face my the meat in my face um my makeup was meaty face do you know what i mean when i say meat face like there's people with these smooth faces and then there's people that they've got the meat in their face that's me i've got a meat face but i've come to love my meat as should you if you've got meat in your face i'm doing a bit of laundry so you can you can hear the banging and the clanging it's raining outside the wind is howling so We've just got some great conditions here today, folks. Just for the introduction of this video, it'll be very short. I wanted to explain that this is going to be a very candid video and I didn't want it to be a glorified version of my week. I kept like putting all this pressure on myself to put off filming until I had a week that was like attractive. But I want to show you what my real week is like as a freelance illustrator. And you know, like my desk is a little bit messy right now compared to how it normally would look and I did not clean anything in preparation for this. In fact, I just kind of set up the tripod and hit the hit the record button and then I was staring at the camera like. But regardless of everything, I hope that you enjoy. Happy 2021. It's January 1st. It's the middle of the day. We're starting off the week on a Friday in the middle of the day. Uh, hopefully when I compile the clips together that I have filmed throughout the week, it will make sense. Perhaps it won't. Perhaps it'll just look like a total cluster fuck. I don't know. Anyways, this is the part where I wave the little Mario Kart flag and then it's like the countdown and then we say go and then it just starts with like a video of me just sitting there. go to the gym now and you will start to see a pretty consistent schedule happening I guess in my days. I feel like a robot. I just kind of get up early. I work out. I uh, come back. I goof off for a little bit in the morning. I then do my work for I'd say maybe like five or six hours and then I take the rest of the evening to either relax, take it off, or I do some sort of other work that is not freelance or Patreon work, whether that be taking care of some Etsy stuff or cleaning the house, organizational things like getting my life together. I'm not feeling it this morning and I'm not gonna take, I'm not gonna take the camera to the gym. I don't think, um, I go to my apartment gym, there's only two people allowed at a time, but uh, I feel very embarrassed and shy to take the camera to the gym. I'm also only running today. Maybe on a bigger uh, day where I'm lifting weights and whatnot, I will take you on that day. So you'll get to see me in action some other time.
howdy good morning i just woke up like 10 minutes ago as you can see i'm about to go on my run and after i come back from my run i am going to pack some etsy orders i have a few kind of stragglers my etsy shop has not been active for really the last month because i've been focusing so much on patreon and freelance so it's not really constant etsy orders happening in fact i might close my shop for a little bit so i can focus on the other stuff and then restock it in a few months when i'm ready to handle that but after i come back and finish the etsy orders i am going to go to a friend's house to watch the we've been watching the neon genesis evangelion uh, we watched the final movie and then the rebuilds and we're on the second rebuild now so I kind of like work in tandem while I do that because it's very helpful for me to even just listen to Japanese while I'm doing something else and try to kind of like comprehend what's happening without looking at the subtitles. Another thing is that I don't have food still. I still like my fridge is empty and I really need to go grocery shopping but I keep kind of just like putting it off and not finding time for it. So. I am once again probably going to grab something quick on the way to my friend's house and get some coffee. Who knows what I'm gonna buy food? Who knows what I'm gonna go grocery shopping? It kind of seems like every day I just avoid it. Sometimes it's a bother, you know? Sometimes I just don't wanna do it. Okay, I'm gonna go run now. I will see you in a little bit. did not get as much done today as I really should have or wanted to but I'm not being too hard on myself I'm gonna make up for it tomorrow I promise I promise to you I promise to myself I did get one spot illustration done for the book that I'm working on and I can show you that I'm not really showing a lot of my process which I probably should start doing in the next coming days that's just a piece of the spot illustration. But I found it very hard to work when I was staring at those big sexy robots. It's, it's very difficult to focus. So tomorrow will be, hopefully, a very productive, work-heavy day. Anywho, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get ready for bed now. Good night. So I know that we just said good night, but good morning already. I wanted to pop in really quick and say that I'm not working out this morning. I'm gonna save that for the evening because I want to lift heavy weight and I would rather have food in my system and not do it right away in the morning on an empty stomach. So I'm gonna go do work right away now. I'm gonna to go to the place that I like to go to and just work until the afternoon. Go buy groceries because God, I desperately need food in my house. And then I guess work out in the evening. And then later in the night, I am interviewing my friend Dalton uh, for my Patreon podcast. So full day of activities. I'm feeling a little bit stressed, probably because I didn't work out in the morning like I'm used to. And I didn't get that endorphin release. And my mind is just going and going. But I'm sure that once I start working, my mind will settle down. It often does. Anyways, do you like my trucker? My tr this is not trucker. This is like. <laughs> I'm 
sorry. I'm gonna go work. I need to go work. Has not technically been a full week yet but I'm here to tell you that today day six is gonna be the final day that I'm filming and I didn't want to just like cut it after day six and then have everyone wonder like this was not a week but I have a lot of things that I need to catch up on today and tomorrow I have a lot of work that I need to finish up and I don't want to have to be stopping to film and then edit and I think it would just be a lot of footage of me just sitting at that desk. So I'm letting you know this now. We're gonna finish out the day together. But I wanted to say to you, thank you. And I hope that you walk away from this maybe learning something. I don't know what that would be. You'll have to let me know in the comments if anything was insightful in any way. Um, and if you have any questions, please ask. But most of all, thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for keeping me company and I hope that I kept you company. Let's go ahead and finish out this day together. There's a fly flying around. That's how disgusting my silly little life is. God. And they've got the meat in their face. That's me, I've got a meat face. Or Star Wars, um, just fundamentally Star Wars, but then also The Matrix, Indiana Jones, The Lion King. The, yeah, the, the sure. structure, okay. Sure, okay, first call to adventure. Yeah, I mean, he has to go to Punxsutawney for work. Refusal of the call. He does not want to go to Punxsutawney <laughs> for work because it's cold and miserable there. Power in his life. Wow, that's tough. I mean, his own ego, I guess, arguably. He has to learn to kind of shed that a little bit before this, he can make any progress. This leads to a potty. Not a shoe closet, go for it. Good. Hey. So, I'm going to be able to do this. 